Step one is always connect to the leg. I can't, I literally can't emphasize that enough. I have this, um, I will say ABC, always be connected because you can't feel fear in the same way if you're actually connected to an expanded state, okay? You imagine light coming in your body from above and you imagine light coming in from below and you expand it out like a big sunshine. Now the reason we, we want all flows opening, okay? You're an infinite being and you just don't flow one way, right? Like you flow from other, you know, every direction. So you're bringing in light from everywhere and then you're expanding it out so your energy is giving and receiving simultaneously. Okay, so that's step one. Uh, and step two then, ask a question. <laughs> and the question might be, uh, I'm feeling this feeling, what's the first age that I ever felt that? What is the emotion attached to it? Now, sometimes you won't get an answer and that's fine. We're just trying to kind of label it enough so that we can find it, okay? It's really just for our ability, you know, we just want to scope it out. Uh, so ask a question. Uh, uh, what's the first age I felt this? Who did I duplicate it from? What's the emotion I'm feeling? Where is it in, on, or around my body? And then once you kind of locate it, you bring in the light so you just imagine light coming in into that part of your body and you're just saying I clear and transmute it which basically is you're basically just setting the intention hey this thing has to leave now so step four is basically this light that we're connected to which is really your infinite self okay your infinite self can can decide something and make it be different okay so if you bring in this higher energy this higher vibration which is like love and um compassion and healing and whatever word you want to call that okay God right when you bring that energy in it instantly kind of starts breaking up that denseness of that old story the step five is I like to fill in with something positive so let's just say the belief was I don't feel supported so then I do a step five I do what would it take now I I do what would it take for me to feel completely and totally supported like if that was my belief I notice that sometimes when people do that, this is my personal thing of watching so many people's energy, okay? When people sometimes do the I am statements, like I am powerful, I am this, I am whatever, they don't always fully believe it, right? So I like to say, what would it take? So what would it take for an extra million dollar idea to show up in my world? When I'm saying, what would it take? It's like I'm expanding my energy out into the universe to allow unlimited possibilities to show back up. So if I say, what would it take for me to feel supported? I'm saying, universe, please bring me 20,000 different ways that I can feel supported today. Okay, so there's no limit on the what would it take. You're just as you're throwing it out there from this really cool kind of um, positive space and you're letting it just sort of, you know, come back into your world. Yeah, um, what's, a, what's something you want to get rid of in your life? What's a, what's a block? Uh, money, love? Money's a block. Money's a block. Okay. What's the normal pattern? Is it you spend too much? You don't make enough? Credit card debt? Like, what's, where's the... It's that I have a goal, I meet the goal, and then it still seems not enough. So you feel inside not enoughness. Is that what you're saying? Or you mean it's literally not enough? <laughs> That resonated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just close your eyes for a minute so you can just kind of tune in without. Okay. So just think of connecting to the light, bringing in light from above and below. And just kind of expand your energy back out. Okay. So what's the first age that you felt not enoughness? Okay. Was that from mom's energy? Dad's energy? Your energy? Dad or slash church. Okay. And okay. So what is the main emotion you're feeling tied to not enoughness? The energy that I built towards that is like emotion. Oh, I feel, I feel sad, I feel 
afraid that I'll never get to that. I feel wrong. Okay. So let's bring in, where do you feel that in, on, and around your body? Here. Okay. So take your energy into that spot. So that just means there's lots of thought forms kind of hooked in there, stories. That's where you stored it. If we don't delete things, we store it usually in our body. So bring in a lot of light from above and below. I'm just kind of thinking I'm going to clear and transmit it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. I'm going to clear and transmit it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Now, I'm not sure if he's aware of this, so I'm going to just bring it up. So part of that energy also ties back in behind your heart. And when it, could you notice that? Yeah. So the pattern is usually it'll start in one place and then it worms its way other places. Okay. So you kind of follow it around. So bring in some more light behind your heart. Clear and transmute that across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Clear and transmute that. And then just keep bringing in light until you feel like it's not really there. Okay. All right. So just go ahead and open your eyes. Now I want you to think of that incident again. Okay. So I want you to think of not enoughness, six years old. Does it feel different when you go to think about it right now? It feels like a movie. Yeah. You see, so basically when it's totally out of your system, it's just neutral and it's somewhere else. Okay. So now think of uh, the pattern that you were talking about earlier of not feeling enoughness. See, I'm watching his energy. It's hard for you to kind of grab that energy, right? It seems harder. It's an, it's not as yeah. You like like he can't find his problem anymore. <laughs> You're like, what's my problem? I don't have it. Thank you, Asa.